couple of heat. Yes, I know that's why we're here. We are here today to be the voice of the cats and dogs that are being warehoused in what is often called that old, dilapidated animal shelter in Medley. The new shelter, which was desperately needed, opened in 2016. At that time, the old shelter was described as a house of horrors for both animals and employees. It lacked everything needed for proper animal care. But here we are, seven years later, finding that this old shelter in Medley is again filling up with cats and dogs. This awful place with no air conditioning in this daily 100 degree heat with no airflow system to stop the spread of disease, with no physical activities for those animals is plain and simple animal abuse. When the new shelter opened, a new name was proposed that included the words Protection Center. Those words were featured on the front page of the Miami Dade Animal Services MDAS website. Look at the MDAS website now. Those words are gone. Instead, you see critical capacity. And basically, please don't bring us any animals. We're full. They've been full for a very long time. It is hard to look at the old shelter and use the word protection to, to, to describe anything that goes on there. Not only is the word protection gone, but so is the Animal Services Director Bronwyn Stanford. Her future legal battles will expose more of what happened and how we find ourselves in this desperate emergency. In the meantime, with a $34 million annual budget going to $37 million next year, the intake for the past 10 years has not changed. Taxpayers spend more to keep killing our animals when it costs less to spay and neuter. Not only are there still over 30,000 animals coming in each year, but untold thousands are refused entry. Many of those dogs and cats are dying on the streets. Adoption rates are going down and spay and neuter surgeries are flat when they should be increasing fivefold. Overseeing this entire situation is our mayor, Daniela Incava. All of this happening on her watch. The 500,000 of us who voted for the Pets Trust plan was very disappointed in her promises to support our animals. Twice when she ran for commissioner and most recently when she ran for mayor. Her repeated pledge commitments to our animals have been hanging. Candidate Kava is not the same as Mayor Kava, and the proof is inside the old Medley hellhole. The Medley dungeon jailing animals should not be allowed. As co-founder of the Pets Trust, along with so many animal activists that are here today, we made a mighty effort to ask Mayor Kava to support the ideas of the Pets Trust plan. Candidate Kava said yes. Mayor Kava has said, well, nothing. If you go to PetsTrustMiami.com, you can read the plan that in 2012 was approved by 64% of Miami Dade voters. For 10 years, our elected officials have not honored our votes. Every year, the animal overpopulation crisis gets worse and worse. The new shelter is mostly closed. Animals are turned away and dumped on the streets, often to suffer and die horrible deaths. All while the county pretends we have a no-kill shelter. Otherwise, animals are caged and warehoused sometimes weeks, months, and years which is the case of the old shelter. 
Some of these animals have been at the old shelter for 246 days. They are not being seen, walked, or having anyone play with them. We have reason to believe there are cats caged inside as well. The county is very secretive. They don't allow unannounced visits. We will never adopt, foster, or transport our way out of animal overpopulation. We demand that Mayor Daniela Levine Cabo fund the Pets Trust Plan immediately. It's the only long-term solution to stop the killing of our animals. Kava agrees that the animal people were the, one of the key organizations that propelled her historic victories. There will be a new election for mayor in 2024. Our message for Mayor Kava today is we are watching. Animal people are watching. If she doesn't act, she can be sure we will propel her defeat in 2024. In the meantime, the mayor and her lack of actions have created a terrible situation. And our goal today is to let the community know that the buck stops at the top with her. There is no quick fix for this awful mess. So, Mayor Kava, if you plan to continue this horrible hellhole using suffering animals for these sub at least spend some money to clean it up and put some air conditioning in. I want to thank everyone for being here today in support of our animals in this horrible, horrible over 100 degree heat. And if there are any questions, please raise your hands.